All right, guys, welcome back to part two on how to solve that iPhone audio issue problem. So it was a big problem, so I went out looking for a solution for it, and what I was able to find was the Wireless Go by Rode. Now, guys, this is the smallest lavalier transmitter receiver uh, audio system in the world. It is rechargeable. It is very, very simple to use, and it has really, really good reviews. And it keeps you from having to buy high-end four and five, six hundred dollar sound equipment, you know, from like Sennheiser or Zoom or something like that. I'll show you how this works in a minute and how simple it is. You're also going to need the Rode SC7 patch cable. This is going to be necessary if you have a phone with like a lightning uh, charger port or anything like that on the iPhone. And what this does is it transfers uh, one side from a TRRS signal to a TRS signal. And then, of course, you'll need the lightning to headphone adapter. This right here runs about $9 if you didn't get one with your phone when you purchased it. And then also the SC7 is going to run you about $19 or so. This right here, around $200. So, yeah, you've got an investment, but you guys are going to be amazed at what it will do for content creators. Stand by. All right, guys, so when you open the box, it's going to come out from the bottom like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tear that tab off. And when you tear that tab off, it'll open up just like that. These are the two units themselves that look just like this. Um, there's really no sinking or anything else that needs to be done with it. Um, they're really well thought out. And these clips, so this right here is going to be the transmitter side. With that little clip, you can clip it to a pocket. You can do anything like that, just somewhere where it can hear you. Basically, you have a microphone there. You can also plug in an external mic onto this, so you could put this on your back and then just have the, uh, the mic on your collar or something. And then you have the other unit, which is the receiver that looks like this. Now this actually has a display screen. Let me go ahead and fire it up for you. So guys, if you look at the screen right now, you're gonna see I've got the meter and you'll see when it starts to clip or I can go into yellow. Right now I have it in the lowest mode. I have three dB loads or modes, watch the bottom left-hand corner. If I press it again, now we're into medium. If I press it again, we're into high. Now we're into the yellow, and then I can actually get it to clip. You see that out in the red? So this right here will solve all of your issues with regards to that. Uh, these are rechargeable, comes with the two USB cables. Uh, it also, in about a seven hour runtime. And then uh, if you guys are in the industry, you know, they have the big, uh, the boom mics with the fur, and they call these dead cats. These are like, uh, dead cat tails, paws, or something. They're just little, and they just clip onto the top. Uh, it also comes with a little small owner's manual. It does come with a patch cord, but this patch cord is not, not going to work for you, okay? So you will have to buy that SC7, and it comes in a nice little carrying case. So what we do is we just basically <clears throat> take the transmitter, or the receiver, rather. We plug this, your headphone jack adapter, into the phone. Gray goes into the phone. Black goes into the actual receiver itself, just like this. And then what I did was I actually take this and clip it back on itself, something like that. And that's all you need whenever you're recording if you're using that iPhone. And of course, the other one's just clipped on you. So I'm gonna give you a sample of what we did yesterday. Same location, same everything of what it sounded like when we slapped the boards together and you'll see what it's like. So that's the solution. You're looking at about $230 or so. I think it was $234 for the setup, but it will solve all of your sound issues and it will also give you better quality for your reviews because you'll be able to step far away from it and still get the good audio. Which actually works out. And what we're doing is go ahead and slap those, keep going. We wanna see if it changes the audio level by using this Rode mic and see how long it takes to recover for the audio portion. All right guys, so this is the demonstration with the setup. We actually have it connected to the, to the iPhone 11 Pro Max right now. I have the transmitter here on my sweatshirt. I could put it up here if I wanted to. But this is what I want to show you, is that I can go a pretty far distance, about 70 meters according to the owner's manual, seven hours of runtime, and I can still talk about things, do whatever, and I'm not going to lose any of that loud or that sound whenever I'm firing or anything like that. 
So this is a really, really good solution to the problem, and it also might push content creators forwards into actually getting a lavalier for that better sound quality. So guys, hope you enjoyed that review of the Rode Go and the problems associated with the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max. Look forward to seeing from you or hearing from you soon. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.